Hello everyone. So we'll be discussing the concept of pH and pOH. So no, the first thing you want to um, get is that pH, right, which is minus logarithm to base 10, the concentration of H. Okay, this is the definition. It is the minus or the negative logarithm to base 10, the concentration of what? Hydrogen ion. Now, POH is the minus logarithm to base 10, the concentration of OH minus. Okay, now there is something we call pH scale. Please note, we call it what? pH scale, not pOH scale. That's because there's a particular mistake people make here when Jam asks a particular question. So, what is pH scale? It runs from 0 to 7, then to 14. Abi, that means when we go this way, we say increasing acidity. And when we go this way, we say what? Increasing alkalinity. Now, that means a particular solution or salt with a pH of 14 is more alkaline, like that is, is more alkaline in this case. Now, if it has a pH of, let's say, 2, it is treating towards acidic. Why this 7 means what? Neutral. Okay, please take note of this. Now, there's something you also have to understand that pOH plus pH equals to 14. Very, very important. Because, of course, you can see 0 to 14. So, this is important. Now, that is not, I just want you to get this. This one means highly alkaline. Why this one means highly acidic? This is not where I'm going to. Also, note that if I'm just talking about the concentration of H alone, it is actually 1 times 10 raised to the power minus 7. If I'm talking about the concentration of OH minus alone, it is 1 times 10 raised to the power minus 7. Now, that means if I want to add the two together, concentration of H plus multiplied by the concentration of OH minus, according to the law of logarithm, if you have that's, that means I have 10 raised to the power minus 7 times 10 raised to the power minus 7. Since their bases are the same, I can tell you that this is 10 raised to the power minus 14. That means OH minus multiplied by H plus. H plus is equal to this. Another thing that you need to note. Now, where people make mistake in this particular question, let me give you a question. Imagine I ask you that which of this um, solution is highly acidic? Um, option A, a solution that has a pH of 3. Option B, a solution that has a pH of, let's say, 6. Option C, a solution that has a pH, pOH of 13. D, a solution that has a pOH of, let's say, um, 9. Now look at this question. Which one is highly, highly acidic? Now, I'm very sure most people might... Perhaps, if you see this question, what will you choose? I know you will want to choose, ah, uh -uh, be based on this diagram, from 0 to 7, that means if it is 3, uh -uh, it is highly acidic. Now, based on this increasing order, that means 0, 1, 2 is more acidic than 3. 3 is more acidic than, than 4, like that. Abi? Then, in that regard. Now, most people will miss this question. So, this is pH scale. I will tell you why. Now, if you if you have to pick, drop your answer. What will you pick before you um, move on? What will you pick in this question? I know you pick A, Abi. I think you will pick A. I'm very sure. You pick a most of you. Yeah, drop your answer in the comment section. Drop it. I want to see what you pick. So, what is the answer? Which one is highly acidic? But I want to actually surprise you. The answer is not A. Now, in terms of pH, we say pH scale, not pOH scale. It is pH. That means this one that they gave me in terms of pOH, I should convert to its equivalent. 
That means this one now will be what? The pH, based on this, if pOH is 13 and pH, um, that means 13, 14 minus 13 will give me 1. That means the pH here means 1. And this one means, that means this option C, then D means pH here will be 14 minus 9. Abi? And that's what? That's 5. In fact, the answer is what? C. C. Because the pOH is what they gave me. And in terms of the scale, it is not pOH. It is pH scale. So the most acidic is 1. So you have to convert to its pH equivalent. You have to convert to it what? its pH equivalent to get which of these is highly acidic. So the answer is C. Okay, take note of that. Now, so now there's a way to get to solve questions on this. And I'm going to show you right now. So look at this. Okay, look at this question, for instance. Calculate the pH of 0 0.001 molar H2SO4. Now, please take note of this. It is very, very important. But before I move on, I hope you subscribe to my channel. If you are seeing this, if this is your first time, make sure you hit the like button before you continue so that more people can see it, it can impact more lives. So hit the like button, share, comment, you know, engage. All right, let's go. Now, most people will miss this question. In fact, UI post to TME, they asked us this question. I remember, I think 2018, UI asked this question that what is the pH of 0.001 molar H2SO4? Now, look at it. Come closer. Give it, what was given? 0.001 molar H2SO4. Right? Now, this just means, this just means 10 raised power minus 3 molar. Abi? H2SO4. Now, don't forget. I told you that pH is what? Minus log reading to base 10, the concentration of H plus. Not minus log reading to base 10, the concentration of H2SO4. That's where most people miss is 3. Ah, I mean, that's the usual way you do it. But it is wrong. I will tell you the one that the answer will be 3. But in this case, the answer, I will tell you, you will see. Now, that means if H2SO4 dissolves, right, in water, it's dissociated to give H plus plus SO4 2 minus. Now, don't forget, this is 2. So, this becomes 2. Now, that means you, our, um, the way our volume number of moles ratio, that means if we have one mole of H2SO4, we are going to have how many mole of H plus. This is what is in the formula, not H2SO4. So, if you use 0 0.001 molar, yeah, you bank it because your answer will be 3. Now, Two moles of H plus. That means if I have 0 0.001 molar H2SO4, I'm going to have what? Two times 0 0.001 molar H plus. Eventually, that means the concentration of H plus, which is needed here, is actually 0 0.001, 0 0.002 molar molar so this is what you use here in this formula because that's what they give so if i give you h3po4 what are you going to do that will be because eventually h3po4 h3po4 we release how many 3h plus so you do three times now the one that you always use what they give you is maybe it is a mono basic acid like something like hcl in this case, now it is one molar ACL that will give one molar H plus. So in this case, if you go with 0 0.001, you will be correct. But here you will be you will be wrong because H 2 4 will give two, we release two moles of H H plus. Now don't forget that is what they call what basicity of an acid. It is defined as what as the maximum number of replaceable hydrozonium anion present in one mole of the acid. I repeat, one mole of the acid. So one mole of H2SO4 is given how many? Two H+. plus. So the basicity of H2SO4 is what? Two. One mole of the acid for this one will be given three H+. plus. So the basis of this acid is what? It's three. But there's one question in jam that most people used to miss. Is what is the basicity of H3COOH? Now don't forget, yes, the number of hydrogen here is Four, but the basicity is what is one. Why? Because it is only this one that is replaceable in terms of 
hydrozonium ion. So please take note, this is a jam question. So the basis of CHTV, that is ethanoic acid, is one. Take note of that. I just want you to know that at least you should have an advantage of watching this channel. So now let's let's move. Now, so back to this question now. That means according that means pH, which is minus log to base 10, H plus will be what? Minus log to base 10, 0.002. Abi now. Now that means this is like minus log to base 10. No, this is 2 times 10 raised to the power minus 3. Abi now. So if there is multiplication in terms of log, I can say minus can stay outside so that I have log 10 to base 2 to this to 2 plus log 10 raised to the power what? 10 raised to the power minus 3. Take note of that because it's 2 times 10 raised to the power minus 3. So now that means I have minus. Now this, this is where the issue is because they will not give you log table in the exam. How do you get it? I will give you a sheet code now. Me, I can I know now that log 2 is 0 0.3. So this will be according to the law of logarithm. If you have something like this, this minus can come here, it becomes minus 3. And log 10 to the base of 10. Log to a is, uh, is 1. Any logarithm to the its base is 1. So that means eventually what do you have here? If this minus multiply, or okay, let me first expand this. This becomes minus into 0 0.3 minus 3. So that this this will be what? Minus minus 2.7. Abi. So when you multiply, you get what? Plus 2.7. So the pH of 0 0.001 molar H2SO4 is what? 2.7. Now don't be confused. Let me show you how to get the logarithm table, the logarithm of any number between 1 and 10. So you will not be able to, you will not be confused. That means if log 10 to 10 is 1 and log 1 to base 10 is 0, Abi, that means the answer that will, the, the values between log 1 to log 10 should be between 0 and 1. 